In today's tutorial, we are going to show you the new Google Drive and some of the changes that have been made and also go over some of the things from Drive itself to remind you how to use it. So let's get started. I am in old Google Drive right now and you may say, well, how do I know the difference? Well, I have this button right here for uploads and you'll see that change in a few moments. I also have these boxes. Those won't be there either when we change. So how do we switch over? Well, you go over to the upper right hand corner to the settings and click on that and go down to experience the new drive and then click on it and it will switch over. Now, if you want to switch back again, you can go back to settings and you can click on leave the new drive and you can go back to the old drive. But realize that it won't be that far down the road that Google will switch over to the new drive and stay that way. So you might as well get used to the new drive. So let's take a look at some of the changes. Well, one thing that I've already said is that over here, some things have changed. It used to be we had an upload button here and now if we click on new instead we see that's where they've put the uploads for the file upload and the folder upload and also new folders or new documents depending on which and what you want so that is the first major change is where do they put the uploads remember that since you have a google apps for education account you have unlimited storage so you can upload any of your documents, whether they're Google or Microsoft. Uh, you can upload pictures and you can upload uh, videos and put them in here with, in, up in the cloud where they're safe and aren't, won't get lost if your drive breaks. So think about storing things into this area. So that's the first change we'd like to show you. Uh, secondly, in the past, the default when I uploaded a document was that I had to change my settings and I only had to do it once when I wanted it converted to Google. Well, they've changed now. First of all, let's find where those settings are and you will find them over again here in settings and then choose settings. And the default is that they will automatically convert now. It's already set for you like that. So if you don't want it converted, in other words, you want it to stay a Microsoft Office, a Word document, or a PowerPoint, or an Excel, then you want to go to the settings here and chain, uncheck this. Otherwise, leave it alone and it will automatically convert it to a Google document. Next, how do you delete a document? Well, first of all, if you notice that we no longer have, as I showed you earlier, there's no checkboxes along the side here. And so how do you choose documents and then if you want to delete it? Well, if I chose just highlight a document, right away I have some things show up that weren't here a second ago. In other words, just watch up here and if I click off that all goes away but I'm going to click back on and here you'll notice there is a trash can so I can then remove it but what if I want to remove and delete several documents at one time well the easiest way to do that is to hold if you have a PC the control button down if you have a Mac you want to hold the command button down on the bottom left corner of your keyboard and then you can click and choose whatever you want and how whichever ones you want and then do whether you want to trash or if you want to share all of them do those settings all at once so again that would be if you're on a PC hold the control button down and then click on the items you want to delete or if it's that you're on a Mac hold the command button down and you can do the same thing Something that was on the uh, old Google Drive and is also in the new Google Drive and I just wanted to make note of it because it's a very handy thing is if you choose a document and you go up to this little I and it's for details and click on that you have activity to see um, what you've done recently in Google Drive but you also have details so without opening it I can actually get an idea of what this document looks like 
I can also see um, who I've shared it with and other things that I've that have been done with it. So the details is really nice because then I don't have to double click and open it. If I'm if I'm looking for a document and trying to figure out what it looks like, I can quickly see part of it, and uh, that'll save me a lot of time. So that's the details button. And again, to close it, you just click on it again. You can open it. You can close it. Another new button that they have not had is a get link. What if I have a document and I want to send this link to of this document and share it to a student or somebody, a friend? I can just get the link. Click on this. It gives me the link. I could then copy it and then paste it in an email and send it to them. Of course, the easiest way is to just share it with them instead of getting link. But that's one way of doing it. Otherwise, you can share it with them. Also, if it's a Word document, you probably want to download it. And so where do we find the downloads? Well, that would be under the More Actions, which is these three little dots right here. And so if you click on that, More Actions, you will see two things that you might use. Make a copy of it or download the document. Remember, right now, everything that is in here isn't in your computer. You are really in a, a Google server somewhere in the world wherever that is and so to get it and bring it here to you you would need to download it a couple things to be reminded of remember that there is no saving uh, you don't need to save it saves automatically every time you make a change and uh, that's a great feature but also let's take a look at the sharing that if I wanted to share again I'll pick a document. If I want to share it, here's the sharing. And if I click on that, it comes up and I could start entering names uh, to share it with. But this is really important. Remember that if you leave it, the default is can edit. You're really sharing one document with all the people you share with, just one document, not one for each person, but the same document. So if one person changes it, everyone else sees that change. So if you don't want that, in other words, you want them to have their own document, you want to change this to can view. Then for them to make any changes, what they would do is make a copy by going up and first of all, I'll show you this, and then I'll show you where that is again to remind you. Again, if you want to see all the people, you can click on Advanced and see all the people you've shared it with. Now, to remind you where that Make a Copy button is, if you go up to the top here under More Actions and click there, you'll find Make a Copy. Then with a copy, then they can make all the changes they want, but it's their own individual document. So those are the new things that are in Google Drive, and I hope this helps you. If, so this ends this tutorial.